Pão. É. Pão. É, 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 é. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Salute. It's Salute. happening. It's happening. You don't like it? You don't like it, uh, uh, Hendo? I mean, I love, it. I love it for him. Yeah. It's happening. So, so correct me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong with the numbers. Five years, mm-hmm. two fifty-five, right? Correct. Which, if he hits everything he needs to hit, that hits him with fifty-one a year, which makes him the highest paid per year player in the NFL. Correct. This yes, is correct. Yes. But there's also a clause in there where he can he can gain an additional fifteen million. Okay, let me get this off. I don't want to cover everybody up. Let me get this off. An additional 15 million. I don't know about that. So I'll let you go first, Hendo. Speak um, on Jalen Hurts and his contract. I mean, listen, it, it was in essence, even though it is the largest contract annually in history for a player, it's a good deal for them because he's only getting 110 in guarantee money at signing. So, you know, for the for a certain quarterback, it looks bad mm-hmm. because he was potentially offered 130 at signing. But, I mean, for him, it, it gives them a deal. It, it locks up that quarterback for another extra five years. And I love it. Like, listen, a black quarterback got signed today off of what he did. It's not about what he hasn't done or what he can't do or his limitations. It's Howie Roseman saw, listen, this is my guy. He led us to the Super Bowl. He's going to do nothing but get better. And, like, I love it. Even though they went out and signed a $100 million wide receiver last year, that they traded for, they still had the money to make the quarterback the highest paid player in the NFL. But for, for Jalen Hurts, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy. Well, AJ even came out and said, if you, you don't sign Hurts, see me where he going. <laughs> and, 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 and when AJ speak, he don't be capping. He don't play. He don't, I, don't right. have to do, I don't have to do this to AJ. Yeah. I don't have to because I, I know he's talking facts. Yeah. And, and it's just wild for me because Hurts has only started for two years. Mm-hmm. You know, we had a five-year starter, in essence, and we can't get stuff done. And the thing that just is, it's been irking me all day how certain people have been saying Lamar is losing his leverage. He's losing his leverage and he's losing money. How? How is Lamar losing money? That's the question I have for anybody that can answer that. Lamar is sitting back. Hirsch got signed. Burrow and, and Herbert are in the mix. And they're sitting back like, oh, well, he set the parameter. Now we know where to go. So once mm-hmm. these quarterbacks get signed, Lamar's price is going to go up and up. And that man hasn't done anything but sat at home and danced around in his living room. Yep. And work out on the entire gym. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Uh, yeah, I'm happy for him, man. And and his agent, too. Uh, <clears throat> if you know, because she, she's only she hasn't been in the game for a, a while. She hasn't been there. So right. she's she's only been at it for a few years. And you look at her list of clients. And it's crazy. She got Quentin Williams on there. And then you just look at this draft. She got Bijan. She got Will Anderson. She got Xavier Hutchinson. She got a bunch of guys coming in. And then, you know, with Jalen Hurts, I mean, shout out to her, man. Because, number one, you know, she's she's a woman in a male-dominated industry. And she's over here pulling, you know, monster, mega historical deals. So, shout out to her. And um, shout out to Jalen Hurts, too, because... You know, he went from getting benched in the championship game to being Dude. the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Yep. And at this time last year, I distinctly remember the Eagles need to see what we have in him because they're going to have picks in the 2023 draft in order to package if they wanted to move up to grab a quarterback if Jalen Hurts wasn't it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they, look still, at they still got 10 and something else. Yeah, so I, I'm just I'm happy for for both of them. Um, the Lamar stuff, like I I put that on the back burner. I just focus on those dudes on those two because you know they're the ones that deserve the props and and a lot of the Lamar stuff is just it's sources. You know, mm-hmm. it's not we don't know for real. Like you could believe Ian Rappaport, but I mean Lamar. Like once the deal gets done and like let's just say ten years from now we could hear Lamar on a on a I am athletes podcast. Talking about those numbers that the media was reporting were completely off. Mm-hmm. So because that that does happen, and people act like it doesn't. Like that happens all the time. Mm-hmm. If you listen to all the smoke, if you listen to to I am athlete, you hear players talk about that all the time where media gets stuff wrong. So yep. um, yeah, so just shout out to them. I saw somebody on Twitter. I can't remember who it was that said the the media don't have the inside <clears throat> scoop 
with athletes like they used to. No. Because okay. athletes have their own platform and then they don't know who to trust either. So they keep stuff tight to the vest. I wouldn't be surprised if Lamar just sit back and laugh at all this stuff because I, I think the son on a troll. I think he one of the biggest <laughs> trolls out there. I really yeah. do. I think he sit back and let's just laugh and laugh and throw stuff out there to see what happens because he knows a lot mm. of people out there just waning on his every word. So it's it's like it's a picture of a, a, a video of DeAndre Hopkins out, Hopkins out there, and somebody screenshotted Thomas. He holding something purple in his hand. He gonna be a raven. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> 